Take a seat, so the flight is question number 109. So as per the place on the table of the house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Uh, I would like to know from the Minister in Charge Education. Yes, uh, the details have been tabled to each and every member of the House. And uh, going by the uh, report that has been submitted, what, I've, uh, what I can see is that uh, though there are many schools that have been identified, but uh, the status is that not even one school had started till date. So may I know from the minister what is the reason behind that till date not even one school have been able to function or start it. Speaker, sir. Uh, so the function means uh, building, building construction or academic? Academic. Speaker, sir. So, out of 38, uh, so I think as for the place in the devil of the house, so the Minitco and the Webcoast, they are an implementing agency. But however, the state government also has uh, a, executed two uh, projects, that is Pahamsim and uh, Samanda, uh, which building and others infrastructure has been completed. And for uh, Pahamsim and Samanda, uh, this EMRS school, uh, the recruitment is already been, uh, the exam has been conducted, but however we are waiting for the uh, appointment order from the, from the NACE, and the so state government is planning to start this academic from 1st April 2024. So uh, the Eklavea Model Residential School comes under the Ministry of Tribal Affairs. In fact, this uh, scheme had started way back in 1997-98. In fact, uh, in the year 2022, uh, going by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, uh, it has uh, clearly stated that by 2022, all blocks in the country should at least have one EMRS school. But unfortunately, uh, when you look at the, our state, not even one school has started till date. And uh, may I know from the minister in charge, since when the process of construction or to start the MRS, uh, EMRS school has started in the state. Speaker, sir. So, uh, despite this has been sanctioned uh, two, uh, four or five years back, due to certain issues, due to certain reason, like a uh, like COVID, uh, COVID-20, this also happened for the last two years, and so uh, like the land has, has been placed on the table of the house, uh, there are many blocks where the land issues was there. But because of all this, sir, uh, sir, this has been delayed. But however, after pursuing the matter and having the review meeting again and again, we have uh, we could see certain certain number of school is on the advanced stage and have, so certain schools in different states of progress. Sir. And we are expecting to complete at the earliest, sir. And with, whichever the land 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 give did as bit to the life, so we are going ahead with, uh, and we are expecting to complete a deal, yes. Uh, may I also know from the minister concern, uh, is there any plans to start one of the EMRS school in Maulai block? Because as I can see here, in East Cass Hills district, uh, there are still three blocks that have been left out. That is Maulai, Soyong, and Maupat. Is there any plan from the government to include the remaining three blocks within this scheme? 
speakers. Eh? So not only our honorable members' block, my my block too. So, so the my block, Siju. Uh, so the the first phase that has been sanctioned by the government of India. So I think uh, like it is the guidelines is in all the uh, blocks across the country about certain uh, 600 plus 700 plus district will be sanctioned uh, travels where 50% uh, of the population are travels. So uh, the, uh, this is the government of India business uh, to have a, a EMRS school in all the blocks. But however, since the first phase, the completion is due and we will <coughs> pursue the matter to uh, we will write to the government of India to sanction for all the blocks of the state. So, however, what happening at the present in our state, there are certain location, there are certain block where the implementation of this project is very difficult due to land issues. Uh, I would also like to know from the minister in charge, because when you look at the EMRS, scheme. Uh, there are three components where you have the Eklavia model residential schools and then you also have the Eklavia model day boarding schools and the third component is the center of excellence for sports. Uh, but then interestingly here uh, through the statement that I've been providing to each and every member uh, as far as the Eklavia model day boarding school the reply is nil. May I know from the minister uh, concern what is the reason behind? And at the same time, may I also know from the minister, because as far as the third component, Center of Excellence for Sports, there has been only four proposals that have been sent to the uh, Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Because, sir, so, uh, since the government of this is a government of India program, and state has to receive any project under under uh, EMDBS, and so the the, the state has proposed the as as per the uh, place on the table of the house under Center for Ex Excellence for Sports on certain locations. Sir, I am not getting the reply from the, from the minister. Sir, so, as I have stated, under Eklabia Model Day Boarding School, uh, we have not government of Meghalaya did not receive any project from the motor. And however, only the, only the residential schools we have received. But, uh, if you go by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, there are three components as far as the EMRS is concerned. First is residential school, and the second is the day boarding school, and the third component is center of excellence for sports. So, yes, somewhat there is progress as far as the residential school is concerned and the uh, center of excellence for sports is, uh, is concerned, but then, as far as the day boarding school is concerned, it is nil. What is the reason? So, as I have stated, uh, as per the government of India, as per the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, uh, whatever has, as per the uh, sanctioned government of Meghalaya, is, is, is implementing the projects. 